Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to do a short video today on network radios. So those of you, those of you who watch this channel know that I've done quite a lot of videos lately on network radios and that I'm a massive fan of anything to do with them. But they all have one downside, or the majority of them have one downside. So I have the Radio Tone RT3, the Radio Tone RT4, and the Enrico TM7, which you can see in front of me here. And the downside of them all is the small LED screen or LCD screen on the front. It's a touch screen and it works and the quality is great on them. But the problem that they all share is that they're really small. So you can see compared to my thumb there, it's easy enough to click on the icons, but when it comes to typing, it's quite hard and you end up making loads of mistakes and having to delete stuff and it's just a real pain trying to type with these things. So I had a scout round um, on the internet and I came up with this a little tiny um, keyboard, wireless keyboard. So this was about £6 delivered from, uh, it came from the UK actually, it was here in about a week. I'm not going to link a link to the, to the description because when I do that links always break and then end up with hundreds of comments asking for um, links so just have a look for wireless, little wireless keyboards and you'll, you'll see these and similar sorts of designs on, on eBay. But this came in the post the other day and I've got to say I'm really impressed with it. So setup is dead easy, we've got an on and off switch there, we've got a USB charge point inside and we've also got the battery here which is like the BL5C batteries which incidentally the WLN KDC1 radios take these batteries and Nokia 3210s I think take them as well but little lithium ion battery in there which you can charge through the top and we've got the wireless receiver there which we're just going to pop out. So the back just goes on there. And you're almost ready to go. Now the Enrico TM7 doesn't have a USB socket for this, but it does have a micro USB port on the side. So what I got was one of these little adapters, which is a micro USB to USB there. And we're just going to plug the receiver in like that. And then this will actually plug into the side of the radio like so. Okay, so we've got that plugged in now and we're ready to go. I'm just going to switch the keyboard on like that and you can see it comes up with, with some LED lights. These are actually quite bright. The, the camera doesn't do it justice really. We've got a on button there. We've got a battery um, indicator there and we've got the LED indicator on top there. We've got left and right mouse buttons. We've got buttons to toggle home, search, all sorts of things here. Fast forward, volume up and down. Um, we've got up, down, left and right and an OK button and we've got obviously the full keyboard there. To change the LEDs I'm just going to show you the colours, you just press function and F2 and it toggles through the different colours. The red um, you can't really see on here but it is quite good, I'll show you in the dark um, in a little while. So yeah I'm going to stick with blue for now and we're sort of ready to go. You can see we're on the desktop there of the, of the radio, just click OK and that will toggle up the menu and you can just scroll through here and go on to what you want. So we're going to click on Zello and you can see it opens up Zello and you can actually you can use a mouse there and key up. So how good is that? Um, you can do all sorts. I've not actually had a proper chance to play around with this yet but you can click on things and go through. I'm, I'm going to actually try and uh, add a channel so you can, it's a little bit fiddly to start with but you soon get used to it and you'll, you'll find that actually um, it's a lot easier to use than that little tiny keyboard that's on the screen so okay so if we search here click on the search box and you can you can type in the box really easily I'm just typing a random name, Lewis Ringway Manchester, that isn't, a, that isn't a Zello account. But yeah, you can see how simple that is to work. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys, um, just a little short video. Definitely worth having, looks really good with the Enrico TM7 as you can see there. And it just, just makes things a lot easier when it comes to, you know, comes to using um, these little devices. And it'll work on the handheld as well, um, if you, you know, if you want to use it on the handheld. I won't be using mine on the handheld, but you know, it's um, it's really good. You can. Like I say, you can click on here and you can actually transmit. I've got the volume turned down. You can actually turn the volume up with it as well. Test one, two, test one, two.
Um, really simple to use LED keyboard there. Um, you can see the oops, different colours on the lights. And I think six quid delivered is an absolute bargain. So I'll leave that one there, guys. Let me know what you think. If you have any other ideas on, on how to make these touchscreens easy to use, if you've done a similar thing with, with one of these keyboards, then let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think. If you have any other suggestions, ideas, uh, any other feedback on these videos and on network radios and things like that, then again, just drop me a comment, guys. And... If you haven't already clicked the thumbs up button, make sure you click the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. 7-3 guys, thanks very much for watching.